Hi guys, welcome back to Piping Welding and DT channel. So we have again isometric here and I will uh, show you what type information do you get in this isometric drawing. So this is a very important. So please take note all these guys and this is the number one uh, type information do you get in this uh, information in this uh, isometric drawing okay so we have one number one is line routing okay line routing it means this uh, this is our line routing so this is our line and we have also a line orientation which is to be followed this uh, what do you call this this n is northing okay northing so north we have northing and north south east and west so this is our uh, orientation so this is the number two information on this isometric drawing so number one is line routing and number two is uh, orientation line orientation okay so number three is this is they call that northing okay so this is number three information on this isometric drawing and then next is number four is easting and elevation so where we get so where we do uh, where we see this um easting and elevation so easting and elevation we will see here from this continuation okay so I will sum this one and I will show you the is thing so this is so this is number four so is thing so this is the continuation number and and line number and is thing not thing and elevation so this is number four so next is BOM so what is BOM so BOM is a bill of material which is uh, see what uh, in, a, in a sizing of the size of the materials material specification and material code and also quantity so this is the BOM so that one is the bill of materials okay that one is number five so we have number six is insulation type okay so insulation type we will say we can see here in this in this table okay so in this table the insulation type so next is entity requirements so entity requirements we will see also here on this table so how many uh, red geography so this is uh, how many five percent ten percent hundred percent okay that is the NDT requirement so uh, revision status so revision status we will see in the line in the downside of the line number which is revision and uh, sheet number so this is a number one important the revision okay you will see here if our drawing is updated uh, or not updated drawing so check always the revision status okay that is a number eight okay so we have a number nine so material class so material class what type of materials to be used and on this isometric drawing on this line what type of uh, class to be used what type of pipe what type of bulb uh what type of few things to be used so and then next is number 10 is design so design again we will see here in this table so what is a design so design is it means is what is the uh number of design of this uh isometric drawing operating system okay operating and testing and test pressures number 11 so 12 is a paint system paint system which is see also here in this table so what is the paint system of this isometric drawing 
Yes. Paint system is PO. Paint code. PO. So I don't know what is that. PO. So we are not a painting instruction. Okay. Next is PNID. So PNID we can see also here what type of PNID on this isometric drawing. PNID number. Okay, PNID number, you are familiar in the free NID number, which is piping instrument diagram. Okay, next is slope. So number 14 is slope. So we will see here. So on this isometric drawing, we don't have sloping. Slope. So slope, in other isometric drawing, we will see this symbol triangle so this triangle means this is a slope for this isometric drawing okay how many percent of the slope next is service details so service details we will see also here on this box okay that one is service detail so what is the service details on this isometric drawing uh, so this is a service details is so not here huh? but another drawing other as isometric you will see here what type of service system of this uh, so this is a fee and your LS so this is a low service this is a utility service and flow direction so flow direction are uh, we will see here so this is the small triangle on the line of this isometric drawing so flow direction so this is a flow direction okay so this is a flow direction this is a small triangle here in the line segment so it means the service is going there going to north based on this based on this orientation northing so this is a flow direction so always check this one if you are installing um, what they call that bulb it means check bulb so check bulb is only one direction so check always this flow direction okay so that one is number 16 number 17 is support details so we don't have a support details here but they have um, symbols of supports so we will check here so this is no support here but the nice others are symmetric so no support so next is number 18 so number 18 is notes so that is a number one also important for this isometric drawing so notes so this is notes so this is the notes of isometric drawing so Number one is root gaps for built welding fittings are not included in dimension. Number two is dimension may be slightly different from actual dimension by one millimeter or two millimeter due to computer round of calculation. Next number three, the support details dissipated on the isometric drawing at reference only. So this is a note of this isometric drawing. Number four is for pipe sizing, one and one half and below. Pipe is dimension, a non-metal pipe shall be adjustable side only. So this is the example of the note of this isometric drawing. Okay, so finish. So that all information regarding all these isometric drawing. So that all the information up to number 18 in this isometric drawing okay so thanks for watching guys i hope you have learned regarding our video 
our information on this isometric drawing so have a nice day and see you next my video bye bye god bless all